Hey y'all, welcome back to Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and you know why today is an awesome day? Because you guys are here drawing with me. So thank you guys for showing up. Today's animal is really cool. It is a bright pink color. It's really tall and people have plastic versions of these that they put on their lawn for decoration. That's right, today's animal is a flamingo. All right, well let's make sure we have everything ready to draw and let's get started. Make sure we start out with a nice clean sheet of paper. Go ahead and get your pencil out, make sure it's sharpened. You have an eraser handy as well because we're doing some sketching and we're gonna erase that sketch after we put down our dark lines with a pen or, or marker. And then at the very end, we're going to do some coloring. And this is gonna be extra fun today because we have a very brightly colored animal. All right, so I'm gonna draw this flamingo in a very classic pose. They're standing there with one leg sticking up and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and start with maybe the body shape first. Maybe about here is fine. I'll leave it a lot of room on this side. So let's start towards the middle-ish and let's do like a big curve right here. And if it helps, if you wanna draw like a big circle shape here, that might help you get that curve right. Sometimes I'll draw a circle there just so I can get the curve or that arc right there. So we'll do an arc, we'll have it go down real far. And we can, you can go ahead and follow that if you want, follow that circle. If you have a hard time drawing a circle, just find something round and trace it. That'll help you out quite a bit. So we'll go, we'll draw off that circle, we'll bring it up here and I'm gonna kind of follow it up just like I was gonna go and, and kind of connect it up here, but I'm not going to because what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take it right about here, I'm gonna go down and just go to the tail. I'm gonna make that shape down to the tail. Now this shape is pretty iconic, but you could also just do, I'll do it then I'll erase it, but you could also do like a, a dome shape if that's easier for you. That will also look just like <laughs> one of these flamingos or like a teardrop, that's totally fine as well. So there we go, we have the body. And you can, we can make that bigger as we go, but let's find out where the head's going to be. Let's put the head right over here. Right over here near this corner. Not too far in the corner, because we need to leave room for the, the bill or the beak. So I'm gonna draw a little circle right up there. And we're gonna connect it with that long neck that they have. It's kind of like the letter S, but backwards. So let's do that real quick. <laughs> so we're gonna kind of do this backwards letter S kind of come down and then have it kind of meet up right around there. Do it really light because we're gonna have to go, I have a feeling we're gonna have to go over this a few times. <laughs> and that's all right, that's why we have the, the sketching phase. All right, so we wanna make, they have pretty skinny necks, but let's just kind of follow that around. Let's do that. We'll kind of be a little bit thicker down here on the bottom because it has to be kind of thicker. Like if you look at trees, they're thicker at the bottom. It's because it's stronger. So that's kind of what we're doing here. So we'll kind of go I'm drawing a whole lot of lines, but you can see the shape, right? Now, if you want to make it more curved, you can do that. You can make this go up a little bit more, make that a little bit more natural. But yeah, I'm thinking that's looking pretty cool. I, I don't like how far this is. So what I might do is I might make that even bigger right here. I might just move that up right there and move it back. And you can short, I might want to shorten that maybe, I don't know. Lots of little things you can do. But let's go ahead and make sure that we have that neck connecting the head to the body. And then I'm gonna leave some room over here because I want to draw that bill. Now the bill is really unique. Or the beak on our bird is really unique. It kind of reminds me of a toucan. But I'm gonna draw a straight line out here and then it's gonna drop off and it's gonna curve like really dramatically at the, at the at the end of this. So I go like that, and then I'm gonna bring a curve back, just like that. Now their bills aren't super curved when they're born, so the older they get, the more curved that bill gets. So it starts off not too, not too curved. And the reason it's curved is because when they go feed, they actually put their head, looks like if you look at them feeding, I've asked your parents to show you a video of a flamingo eating, but it'll put its head down in the water and it looks like their head's upside down and then the water comes in, it kind of scoops up the water in there and the mud and all the other stuff in the water and then they just kind of strain all the food through their, through their beak. So it all kind of sits inside there and it kind of separates what's food and what's dirt. All right, so we got the bill. 
or the beak. We got the head. We got the big long neck. Again, maybe I'll make it a little bit thicker. <laughs> and then we got the big body, and then we'll draw their little line. We'll just draw a line straight down. Maybe here from the middle here, we'll draw a line straight down because that's where their foot is. And we'll have, maybe we'll just do like a little triangle like that. So it's sitting right up on its foot. And like we were saying earlier, I wanted it to look like it was resting. And when they rest, kind of funny. They rest with their leg out like this. And then they'll cross it right over here. So they'll bend it and they'll have like a little joint right there. Now that's not their knee, that's actually their, I think that's their ankle. They have a really, this is a long part of their, so the ankle's the one on your foot, not on your, on your leg. So on your knee, that's what I thought this was because that's where it's at, but it's not. That's their ankle. And then you draw their other foot kind of hangs out like this. Just kind of chills out and sticks on their leg. <laughs> and that's how they rest. They rest standing up. All right. Well, it's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and give it its eye over here. We'll draw the eye right here. Now their eyes are actually really small, but I'm gonna draw the eye kind of big because I want to make it kind of cuter, friendlier. There we go, I'll draw that pupil, which is the black part in the middle of your eye, a little bit bigger. And then at the end of their beak, you'll notice that it's like black right over here. So this part I'm gonna color in black, and then you'll have a line right here where they open up their, their beak and we'll add a little smiley face on it. A little smiley face. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do maybe some wings. Now, they have big, big wings right here. So they do fly, but they're big birds. I mean, they're about four to five feet tall. Really, really tall. But they don't weigh very much at all. They weigh like four to eight pounds. So not very much at all for being such a big bird, which is good because that makes it so that they can actually fly and watching them fly is really cool. Okay, let's draw on the wing here. Let's go ahead and just do, I'm just gonna do like a little curly cues here. <laughs> you can draw the wings however you want. If you wanna look at a picture and make it a little bit more accurate, you can do that. I kinda like the idea of making it just like the little, little swirlies right here because it definitely looks like it's still wings and it's different than the rest of the body. All right, so let's keep moving. But next, we need to bring out our markers. So make sure at this point that you are comfortable with what this looks like. If you need to make some changes, you can just do some erasing and, and uh, start over in some areas. But I think I'm good, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start dropping in my lines. So on my head here, I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna have all these lines connecting. So for example, I'm gonna erase some of these lines and some of these lines. And you may wanna do that beforehand, but if you just follow along, uh, you'll be able to see. So if you need to pause it real quick to catch up, go ahead and do that. And then uh, let's jump right into the markers. All right, so the head's this circle over here. I'm just gonna have it kind of blend into the neck. So I'll kind of curve it into the neck. And then on the neck, I'm gonna do one side all the way so that it's easier for me to start the other side. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And like I said, we're gonna blend that neck in that little round part. And now I'm gonna try and make this neck as accurate as possible. It's gonna be kinda of hard. They got those big long legs so they can walk through tall water and they can go out and, and feed. And because they have those long legs, they have to have a really long neck so they can reach down and get the food out of the water. They're pretty interesting looking birds. There we go, that beak that's pretty curved. I mean, this is an older flamingo, an adult flamingo. And then we'll do the pink colors, which will be really fun. The little baby ones, the little baby chicks, uh, flamingo chicks, they actually are born gray. They have gray feathers. They're not, they're not uh, the pink feathers right away. Okay, then I'm gonna draw my line right here. Now I'm just gonna color that in black because I want to. If you wanna color that in with a different color, just leave it until later when you get to your coloring. All right, so now I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna add the little smiley face and then I'm gonna add the eyes. I'm gonna be really careful on these circles. These circles are so hard. 
Then I'll add the eye right there. I'll start smaller, then I can make it a little bit bigger. Because I can't take away my marker, but I can definitely add marker lines. There we go. An interesting fact on the pinkness of our flamingos is that they're not naturally pink. Do you know that? They're not actually pink. Well, they turn pink because of what they eat. But when they're born, their feathers, like I said, they're, they're like white and gray to start. But they wouldn't ever change colors if they didn't eat what they ate. So the type of food they eat is what makes them the color they are. And they like to eat shrimp and other crustaceans like crabs and things, um, little things in the water. And the color that comes from those is little pigments that come out of those animals that they eat makes their feathers turn that color. So that's why they're the pinks and the red colors. That's pretty cool, huh? What if we changed colors every time we ate something? Would that be awesome? I think that would be kind of awesome. So if I ate a banana, I'd be yellow. If I ate an orange, I'd be orange. That'd be pretty fun. All right, so we drew the little wings on there. And then we're gonna draw that line going straight down. I'm just gonna draw a line. You can, you can make it thicker so you can color it in. I'm just gonna draw a little line. You, maybe if you don't wanna draw the bottom of their foot, maybe you wanna draw them in water. You can do that. You can have them standing in the water. Just draw the little water right there. I have mine resting right like this. Now, if my flamingo was flying anywhere, guess what color is underneath their wings? You never guess. It's black. Underneath their wings is solid black. So when they're flying, you get to see that black color under there. But when they're just sitting here like this, you don't see it. I had no clue that they had a whole other color under there. And I'm not sure why it is that color. Maybe you can look that up and let me know. Awesome. Okay, I think now what I need to do is go ahead and start erasing all of the pencil marks so that it's all cleaned up and ready for me to color in. Okay, so I'm gonna erase all this sketching underneath because I wanna go ahead and use my markers and this will show up underneath my markers. I wanna make mine really brightly, beautiful colored pink. And uh, you know what's interesting about that is that they actually do a lot of work to get looking that good. So you know, they may look beautiful but it does take take quite a bit of work. They sit there and primp or they take care of themselves and clean themselves off like 30% of their day. A whole chunk, a lot of chunk of their day is just cleaning and making themselves look pretty. So that's why they look so good. All right, I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna start coloring and you can go ahead and do the same and we'll meet up right afterwards. Our flamingo is so pink. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good name for my flamingo. I think I'm gonna call him Flynn. Flynn the flamingo. But yeah, I love how it turned out and hopefully you had a little bit of fun with it. Maybe your neck looks a little bit different or you had him down there eating or flying or whatever you wanted to do. But uh, regardless, if it doesn't look like mine, that's totally fine. I hope yours looks like yours, which is really cool. So I'm proud of it. Hopefully you're proud of yours too. Let's sign our name at the bottom to show everybody that this is ours and we're ready to go. Well, thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. Hopefully you guys can tune in every day, Monday through Friday is when we have our drawing classes. And uh, if you enjoy it, please subscribe. And if you like this video, just give it a like and I'll keep making more. So thank you guys so much. Remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Before you guys go, I wanted to show you guys some of your amazing artwork that you guys have sent in. You guys have been sending in lots and lots of your animal illustrations and it has just made my week. So thank you guys so much for doing that. If you want to make sure that yours gets featured on here as well, all you have to do is tag us at Brave Kids Art Club or use the hashtag Brave Kids Art Club and uh, we'll see it and perhaps it will show up in one of these videos. But anyways, I just wanted to say you guys are amazing. The work you guys are doing amazing. Like just check out this turtle right here. Look at the colors on that, isn't that amazing? And that little bend there in the elbow, all that attention to detail looks really, really good. And then you got this tiger over here. 
You're adding accessories, adding the little flower band. I love that. And I've been loving all the colors. Look at this owl and this iguana. I have a sneaky suspicion it's the same person because those colors are amazing. But that's super cool. And they don't even have to have color to be awesome because check out this tiger right here. Isn't that adorable? So good. Well, you guys are amazingly talented. Thank you guys so much for sharing your drawings with me. Keep sharing, keep drawing, and we'll see ya.